Okay, what we're going to do today is uh, demonstrate what TDS is, or total dissolved solids, and how it can have an impact on the water that you use in your home. This is a TDS meter. meter. This is a TDS meter. TDS stands for total dissolved solids. This does not tell me what's in the water. It does give me an indication of how much is in the water. It measures anything in the water with an electrical charge. So water by itself, purified water, does not carry an electrical charge at all. It's, it's basically uh, uh, a really good insulator. It's the stuff that's in the water because water is a universal solvent and, and really tries to dissolve everything it touches. So it's the stuff that's in the water that carries an electrical current. Um, this gives me an indication of how much is in the water. So what we have here in this glass is reverse osmosis water. We have a total dissolved solids count of 10. It's impossible to have purified water outside of a laboratory setting because as soon as water touches the air, it begins to dissolve even some of the particles that are in the air. This is water that we got out of the sink here, tap water, and we have a total dissolved solids count of 500, uh, actually about 510. Now most of what's in this water is sodium because this is softened water. Uh, without a water softener, prior to the water softener, it would be calcium, magnesium, uh, iron, anything else in the water that carries an electrical charge. So what we're going to do is, uh, is, is demonstrate what those numbers actually mean. Um, because right now they're just digital numbers. So what I'd like to do is make some tea. And we're going to take this water and we're going to put it in the microwave for two and a half minutes and we'll see you then. Okay, so what we've done is we've put tea bags in each one of these. And this one we have marked RO for reverse osmosis water. And this one we have marked TAP. Now, Jerry, this is Jerry, the sales manager for Peacock Water. Hi. Jerry, can you see any difference between these two glasses of tea? What do you notice? What do you notice different about them? This one has a film. A film. There's a foam on top. Okay, and there's no film here. Now a lot of people can. They would say that this looks like a weak tea, but Lipton tea is an orange pico tea. Which one of these looks more orange to you, Jerry? This one. Okay. It's a little clear. Now this is really amazing. This careful. This is hot to smell that. Okay, and a lot of people would think that that's a weak tea. This one's a lot darker, has the foam on it, but now smell that one. Okay. It's ooh is a common response when I ask him to smell that. Now here's why. The reason this is so much darker and with all the foam, Jerry, is that what we're seeing here is tea, water, and that 500 parts per million of total dissolved solids that we saw with the digital TDS meter. What you see here is tea and water. What this does is it demonstrates the quality of water that you can have throughout your home with the water that goes in you, with the, with the reverse osmosis water. Your ice cubes are going to come out clear, they're going to look like glass, your pasta is not going to stick together, your frozen vegetables come out really nice and plump and green. Carrots won't come out green. If carrots come out green, call service. There's something wrong with the system. But all the other ones, your asparagus, your peas, the green vegetables, are going to be absolutely beautiful. The one downside to having this quality of water in your home is that you're going to be spoiled. Every other water, every other water that you taste, all the other water that you taste is not going to taste nearly as good as the water you have coming in right out of your faucet.